So here's our initial I Spy game lesson. You'll print out the file, you'll cut out the squares, and you'll start with just a couple sounds. The order at this point doesn't matter. We will get into our order or our sets when we move on to sandpaper letters. So we have here a frog. And that's what I would say to my, my students. I would say we have a frog. Or this is a frog. This is a dandelion. I would put them in mixed up order. This is a cube. This is an egg. I just put them in any random order. This is bacon. And this is an apple. So I have k cube, d dandelion, f frog, b bacon, e egg, and a apple. So I would say to my friend, I have, or I spy with my little eye, something that starts with k. Now if they pick up something that's wrong, you would say, oh, this is a frog. I'm looking for something that starts with k. They might take a minute and they might look around like this, and then they would pick it and they say cube. And you would say, yes, cube starts with and have them say that, okay? Then you could say, I spy with my little eye something that starts with eh. Now, it's okay if they pick all the wrong ones. You just say, oh, that's bacon, or that's a dandelion. I'm looking for something that starts with eh. Let's find a word that starts with eh, or a picture that starts with eh. Oh, yes. You have found the egg. Egg starts with e. Eh. So I would begin this initial lesson with just six items. You could even start with three, but I, I prefer six. It's a little more selection. And then as mastery moves along, you'll add in more pictures of each sound. Once we have mastery with many, many pictures of many, many sounds, we will be ready to move to the movable alphabet. This is a lesson that you will do many, many times.